guys? Chef Kevin Belton here. You know, if memory serves me correct, Alexandra, Peyton, Dave, Chris, all of our weather experts, I thought they used the word cool recently. So I decided, oh, cool, what about chili? So today we're gonna do a chili verde. Now, verde is green, and I hope I'm pronouncing that the right way. Apparently, Monica didn't look at me funny, so it must be right. So basically, what I'm doing to start with, I want to roast off. These are tomatillos. Now, if you've never seen a tomatillo, they look like a tomato. I'm, I guess they're in a tomato family, but they're totally different than a tomato. But in the grocery store, you see them with this skin. And then if you just peel the skin off, which just comes right off, there you have the tomatillo, okay? So basically what I've done, I've rinsed them, split them in half. I also have jalapenos. I also have uh, Anaheim's, okay? I'm, I'm sorry, not Anaheim's, poblano. And basically I've taken the seeds out of the poblanos, cut them in half. Same thing with the jalapenos. Now, what I have, I've set the broiler on high. And what I want to do, I want to put these under the broiler for the skins to blister. Then we'll peel the skins off. Now, if you don't want to use your broiler, you can put them in the oven and it'll take about 20, 25 minutes, but it'll be the same process. We want this to roast so we can get those skins off. That way we can make our verde sauce. So let's get these in the oven. Hi guys, I've got our pe peppers roasted. Now, the whole reason for doing this is to blister that skin, plus it gives them a roasted flavor. Now, I've peeled off the skins, off the jalapenos, off the poblanos, but if you notice the tomatillos, okay, I left that skin on, okay, and that's fine. You know, tomatillos, you know, people talk about, are they toxic to eat raw? No, they're just really, really bitter. So usually if you're using them in any type of sauce, so you want to go ahead and boil them, you can roast them like I did in the oven. And all we're going to do now is take all of our peppers and put them in our food processor because we want this to blend. Now, you know, always let them cool off a little bit before you try to peel them, you know, take the skins off. If you want, you can put them in a paper bag or a plastic bag. That way they'll steam and that makes them easier to get the skins off. So here I had about two pounds of tomatillos. I had a couple of poblanos. I did three jalapenos. And of course, you know, it depends on your taste and how spicy you want it, how much do you use, okay? We put some of the uh, jalapenos in now for the salsa, but we could also put some of those jalapenos in, you know, fresh when we're cooking the chili. So let's go ahead and get this on hot. We want this to get nice and smooth. I take it you can hear how loud that was, okay? Basically, we want this to get nice and smooth. So if, if you come and look in this game right quick, all right? Here, this is where it starts. Now, I'm not gonna go ahead and season this, okay? Because we're gonna season the chili later on with things like cumin and oregano, salt and pepper, and things like that, all right? But I wanna get this totally, totally smooth. Now, if you wanna leave this a little choky, yeah, you can because it's going in the chili. But look how much flavor that's gonna to add to the chili, all right? I'm gonna puree this a little more because I want this nice and smooth going into our chili. So while I'm pureeing this, you guys go take a little break. Next time I see you when we come back, I'm gonna have my pot on the stove and we're gonna get our pork. Oh, this chili verde, oh, it's gonna be so good. We'll see in a little bit. Hi guys, take a look. I pureed this and look how thick this is. This is so nice and thick. Now remember, that's our tomatillas. That's our, um, duh, I had a blank, jalapenos and our poblanos, okay? Now we roasted those, we pureed them off. In our pot, I started off with a little oil and I put the pork down. Now you can use different types of pork. You can take pork chops. I took a section of pork loin, cut it in sections, then I cubed it. Now, when I got the pan hot, I put the oil in and I threw the pork in and I let it sit so one side could brown off. So now that that side is browned off, let's start seasoning this. Here I have chili powder and cumin. So we'll get a little chili powder, a little cumin in. 
Now, normally you use salt and pepper, but you know Louisiana cooking. I have to go with a little bit of Creole seasoning in here. We could do a little pinch of salt. Let's do a little fresh cracked black pepper. And here I have a nice onion that I've just chopped up. Now we want to saute this down. You know, this is one of these dishes that's gonna cook for a long time. So you can saute your onions down for a while if you want. Um, I like to just go ahead and get everything stirred in and kind of keep going. Now, when you first put that pork in your pan, remember the goal is to try and get it browned off. What's gonna happen is, and I know you're gonna to wanna to stir it, but resist the urge to stir it. Leave it sit on the bottom so that pork can create a crust, okay? Because once it creates that crust, the moisture is gonna start coming out of that pork, you're gonna get steam, and then it won't brown off anymore, okay? So it's important when you first put it in, let the pan get hot, go ahead, put it in, don't move it. Don't touch it, just let it sit there and get a nice browning on it, okay? So now that we've got our onions in and we've got our seasoning in, and this is one of those dishes as it cooks, we can always taste and adjust our seasoning, okay? Let's go in with garlic and oregano. Now, often you chop the garlic, but I decided to go ahead and slice the garlic. You know, when you slice garlic, it's a delicate flavor. So I used about eight cloves. And I still might put some more in that's chopped. But that oregano is a wonderful flavor going in. Here, I also, it's time to get in our chilies, okay? Now, let's just pour this right on in. Making sure you get all of it out. You know, that's what's nice when you roast them. It gives everything a nice roasted flavor. Now, just like most cooking, when I always talk about cooking to your taste. This is where you can cook to your taste, okay? We're gonna get in a little chicken stock. So I'm gonna start off with just about a half a cup of stock. All right? And I can add more if we want, but remember, the more stock, the looser the chili. The thicker the chili, the less stock you use. So I might go ahead and add that in because now I'm gonna bring this to a boil and then I'm gonna turn it down and let it simmer. And I'm gonna let this simmer for at least, at least two hours. So we'll see in a little bit and I'll show you how this tender is gonna, pork is gonna get nice and tender. We'll see in a minute. Hi guys, our chili has really cooked down. You can see how this has cooked down and gotten really, really, really thick. And our pork is nice and tender. Now there's a couple of things we're gonna to do to finish this off. Let's put in some cilantro. Let's also put in some lime juice. This is just a little freezer squeeze of fresh lime. That, you know, lime always brightens things up. That little acid in it. Here, let's get a little, another one. I'll just use a whole lime. Get this in. Now, remember earlier we were talking about how thick or thin do you want your chili? Well, I let this cook down and it's really nice and thick. So let's just stir that lime in, get that cilantro stirred in. And this is also when you can taste it. And if you wanna make any adjustments with salt and things like that, you can do that now. Or like always, you can put a little hot sauce on the table and you can always add something and let people salt it or add hot sauce to it on the table. But let's ladle this in the bowl. Now, some folks will serve this over rice. But no, we're just gonna do it straight up. I'm not gonna do it over rice. And let me show you how I'm gonna finish this off, okay? So we could take, look, let's take some avocado, all right? We can lay some avocado right around on the side. Right? We could take a little bit of, if you like a little cheese, we could put a little cheese on, all right? Or we could use a, a mix in the cheese. How about a little red onion? If you want a little extra heat, 
couple of jalapeno slices, all right? Uh, like a little more red onion, okay? And then of course, you know, more lime, all right? There is nothing like fresh lime to it. Now, we let this cook down for a good two hours, okay? I had the lid off. I didn't keep the lid on. If you want to put the lid on it, you can. That will keep it a little thinner because the moisture is not going to evaporate as it cooks out, okay? Now, remember, I started this off with a pork loin, and I just cut it and then cut it into cubes, okay? But if you want to do this with a pork chop, um, if you want, you can actually take that whole pork loin. That's going to take longer to cook, but if you sear off the whole pork loin in the pan, then put in the onions and throw in your roasted tomatillas and peppers and let that cook down, you could slip that in the oven and eventually that whole pork loin will shred, okay? Now it's gonna take a little longer in the oven, but it'll totally shred apart and that way you can have a shredded chili if you like, all right? But here, I just decided to cube it, all right? And I tell you what, if you haven't used tomatillos, just peel them, we cut them in half, put them on the pan. I just grease the pan. We toasted off the tomatillas and poblano, poblano peppers and jalapeno peppers just to get them roasted and take those skins off. Now, I roasted those peppers in the oven, but you know what? If you don't want to roast those peppers in the oven, you can easily just grab a can of mild green chilies. It says diced green chilies on it, okay? So you can use the canned chilies if you want, if you don't feel like turning on the oven and roasting them off, okay? So, However you make it, just make sure it's delicious. I tell you what, how about a nice chili verde for some cooler weather coming up? So I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Thank you for cooking with me. Keep washing those hands, masking up, be safe. For WWL TV, I'm Chef Kevin Belton. Have yourself a great day.